Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at themes in Nilo and how you can make use of them. Um, in Nilo we've kind of built a nice way that you can handle the different types of themes uh, throughout your application and uh, yeah in this video we're going to be running through like how you can set like base styles, also switching themes and actually creating a theme as well. So it will kind of help you guys just get an idea of how you can make use of them in your next uh, Nilo project. Um, what we'll do is first take a look at um, kind of the folders that are important for themes. So we've got inside our uh, resources, you'll find themes. And inside themes, uh, we've got like a few different files. So uh, we've got like the actual theme itself. So this is for the light theme. And we've also got the dark theme here. And here you can kind of modify anything that you want to do around that, the theme data. Um, by default we've got this a little bit set up for you so you can kind of just jump straight into kind of handling your colors here which I would kind of touch on in a little bit but essentially when you create a new theme it will be in this directory and we've also got um, this as well for handling all your different text sizes so for instance um, if we just head over to the, the home page on the home page you can see we use the display medium that's here and uh, if we just for instance just change this to like uh, make it exaggerated let's just do it 35 and then rebuild the app you see that it got bigger there so yeah you can kind of modify this file to kind of change how big or how you want the different styles to look and inside we've got another directory inside themes called styles and uh, this one's um really really powerful um essentially what you do is you'll create different styles for your application so for instance for the background uh, your primary content here or if you've got any others like for instance like an icon background or whatever you can kind of add new ones in here and inside your light and dark themes uh, the colors here then you just need to implement what color that will return back so if we just create a new one here, we'll just um, call it maybe um, maybe the background uh, primary, uh, something like that. And then inside our light and dark themes, you see that we've got like an error because we haven't implemented a color for that. So for our light theme, we'll just add this in and we'll just make this red just for this example. And for the dark theme, we'll just implement it as well. So we'll just make this, uh, let's just make it yellow, just so it's obvious. And now we can start using this new um, color style in our application. So I'm gonna head back over to the home page, And what we can do is just from here, just set the color style and say equal to the color dot, yeah, background primary. If we build and run, you see it's red. And if we change it to dark, we'll see it, we're in light mode at the moment. If we go to dark mode, you see it goes to yellow. So yeah, really powerful. It's like across your whole application. You can use that and add new styles or update the existing one. So if you wanted, for example, for the dark theme, not to be this dark, you can just go over here and actually just change it to something like, uh, change it to blue so you can kind of see. So if I just build and run again and we change that, you can see the background now has been updated and uh, yeah um, that's kind of an introduction to color styles um, now the next thing we'll touch on is like if you want to create a new theme so uh, in your application you might have like a few different themes by default we just have the two light and dark but you might have like a custom theme that you want to allow people to use in your application and uh, yeah essentially to do that you need to first go over to config and then in config we've got theme and inside theme um, we have a few different settings really to add a new theme uh, the first thing you'll need to do is uh, from the terminal you can actually create a theme so you can use metro make theme and uh, yeah we can call it the uh, the matrix um, for now and what that will do is just create a, a few different files inside here um, you can see we need to implement that color so background primary into here um, we'll just make this red as well that should go away and yeah once we've created our theme using metro um, we can head over to here 
and then just do a couple of things um, so the first thing we need to do is just add it into our presets here so let's add call it the matrix and call it matrix here and uh, yeah over here we just got to give it an id so we'll use this like later for when we need to switch to that theme so for now we'll just call it matrix uh, call it, this the description doesn't really matter too much but we'll just call it that and i guess lastly yeah we just need to add these two in so just get the color style so this will be the matrix colors so that and just change this bit here so the matrix theme colors just like that and yeah lastly what we need to do now is just kind of change this over here and change this here so i hope that makes sense you can see essentially we're just um, creating the same instance but with a new theme here so we just add the theme here and just pass here we just need to pass in the colors actually just like that and then above here then we can add the, the, that theme to our themes which is up here so just add the matrix there and that's all we need to actually start using our theme so if we build and run the app again you'll see uh, we're using the light theme at the moment but um, what I'm going to do from the um, from the app we'll just add the what we'll do is we'll add like a button to actually trigger the change of the new theme I'll just do like an untap theme dot set and then we just need to set the different theme here so let me call it matrix that will reference the ID which is here so you see matrix here and we just set that there so now to show you this working what I'll we'll do is just go over to uh, the matrix theme and we'll just like update the background just so it's a bit more obvious so we'll just change this to um, come running out of colors to use maybe if we get like a purple or something and just build and run now if we click Nilo you see we're using the matrix theme instead of the yeah light or dark one so so yeah really powerful nice way to kind of add new themes into your application and update it um, so yeah that's more or less like an introduction into themes definitely check out the full docs here just to really understand everything because we've got like a lot on like how you can change like the different fonts and more stuff so um, yeah there's definitely a lot to learn on themes if you've enjoyed the video today please leave a like and subscribe um, really helps the channel out and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one